Grace North, I'm Pastor Scott. We have Pastor Marion here. In case you haven't heard, there's a lot of transition happening right now. My family and I are moving to Nashville and lots of, lots of amazing things happening, which include a new pastor, Pastor Marion. Yay! Which we are extremely excited about what God is doing. And obviously we're gonna miss being with everybody, but what we want you to know is in the midst of the transition, which is a big transition, what is happening with some of the things that are happening? What are happening with the campuses? What are happening with the vision and the mission of the church? And so we thought we would just take a couple minutes to share with you about some of the things that are happening, what kind of transition is happening, how even we got to this point. So for starters, you need to understand that for Lydia and I and our family, this was not something we've been prepping for and planning for. It was a God thing in the midst of it. And there seems to be a resonance with everybody that God's in the midst of this. Right. We've had 100% unity that although we don't like this, and I'll just be honest with you, we're gonna miss you guys like crazy, but we know God's in the midst of this and God is sending us out. Well, the next amazing piece of it was how the Lord prepped and prepared Pastor Marion to come and take the leadership of the church again. And that's been an incredible process because it's probably the last thing you expected in this season. The very last thing I ever expected in this season. But yet we've seen the hand of the Lord and we've seen the passion, the fire in your belly for what God is gonna do. If you don't know Pastor Marion's leadership, she not only is a fire starter, she is a woman full of strategy, but also full of the spirit. And so I believe that this is gonna be a season where she's gonna take the church to a next level. Anytime the Lord shifts and moves things, he's always prepping for something greater. And so I believe that we're coming into a season at Grace North of greater, and the Lord's gonna use you mightily and powerfully. And so that excites me. And I know you're ready for it, right? I am so ready for it. Are you ready for it? Because I am. I'm really ready to hear what, uh, and to participate, it really just to partner with the, what the Holy Spirit is doing because we know he's up to something. And uh, one of the things that has really become very strong to me is that from the very beginning foundation of this church, we made a decision to send the song of worship and to send our very best out. And you know what I discovered about sending is you have to send to send. And so uh, Scott, Pastor Scott, I am very sad to lose you. And for those of you that didn't know, this is my son. And so we're of course very sad to lose our pastors and very sad to lose our family. And um, actually you can leave the grandkids here and we'll be just good with that, okay? Um, but, but when you and Lydia go seriously, what we know is that the Holy Spirit is sending them. The Holy Spirit is sending you, and Grace North, we, our first assignment in this transition is to get behind the send. Get behind the send, and let's send them well, and send them with a healthy attitude and a, and a heartbeat that says, we are with you, and we are really excited about what God is doing in, in you. Oh, we love that. Honestly, the idea that we're being sent from this church that we love is huge for us because we know that the Lord has called our family to equip the body of Christ. And so that means that you get to send us out to do that. In the midst of this, we also have seen the transition with Pastor John and Stevie also transitioning from the campus ministry in Prescott and moving to Nashville as well. So we've said this before, but to help give clarity, these were not a planned transition. We did not discuss this. Pastor Stevie came to me a couple weeks before Lydia and I had actually told anyone about our decision and said, we sense the Lord is calling us to a new marketplace ministry and to be around our kids and to, to transition into a new season of ministry. And so their season just so happened to be at the same time. And I think that's important for people to understand. It is. I think it's really important for you to understand that God has every one of our steps ordered. Yeah. So even perhaps in your own life, you're thinking, gee, I wonder if my life is so ordered in the Lord. And this is an opportunity. One of the things I can say about Transition Church is that God is giving every single one of us, not just our pastors that are leaving, not just Pastor John and Stevie, not just Pastor Scott and Lydia, not just the kids, all of us in Grace North, in our Anthem campus, our Gilbert campus, our Prescott campus, our online community, our hub in New Orleans. Listen, we all have, the word I want you to hear is opportunity. There is an opportunity to engage in the shift, to engage in what God has for us. And so while we didn't see this coming, we didn't plan it, we didn't organize it, we didn't just say, hey, let's just send them all out at the same time. God organized it, God planned it, God strategized it. And when God sends and shifts, he's always shifting into another season. When you shift, at first you feel a little tension, 
but then you shift into another gear. And I believe that's what's happening is there's a shift and you may feel a little tension right now and you may feel like, oh, everything we know is kind of being shaken, but we're shifting into another gear. And Grace North, you're going to other levels. And I'm excited for what God is doing. It also, you have an opportunity to step up and rise up. Many of you, God has giftings inside of you and that's talents right. inside of you that he's waiting to release. And the only thing holding it back is you. And so this is an opportunity to step up and step out into what God has for you in the midst of this amazing church. So what about all the campuses? What about Prescott? What about Gilbert? What about Anthem? What about New Orleans? Are they, are, are, are we closing it all down? Is it all staying open? No, we are is not closing them down. Is still one church? Does it, is it the vision of the Holy Spirit and the strong word ministry and the powerful worship? Is that all still present here? That is what you can be assured of and what you can be confident in as you are walking through this transition with us. We're doing this together. But what you can be confident of is that the mission, vision, and values of this church are not changing, Sorry. they're increasing. The power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit is not leaving us, it's increasing upon us. And so we are still one church, multiple locations. And I know Prescott, for instance, you may be worried, Prescott campus, I haven't had as much time up there with you as Pastor Scott has, and of course, Pastor Stevie's just been a wonderful pastor for you. Um, but I can uh, really want to speak to you and let you know, my heart is with you and my heart and my desire to lead this church into the things of the Spirit, to strong worship, to strong word ministry, a strong discipleship ministry. This is not changing. Nothing of the mission and vision is changing or the values of this church. In fact, we were all together, the same team, in 2003 when we first started the church in my front room uh, in 2003, and we were all together when we created and we heard from the Holy Spirit what this church would look like, what the personality of this church would be. And the Holy Spirit hasn't changed his mind. He's just saying, I want you to shift into a new gear. And so Prescott, I want you to feel confident. I want you to feel secure that God is on the move and he does have the right past campus pastor for you. We're not at this time ready to reveal that for you. We're still working on a few details, but we are working on it. So we want you to know that in every way. I can assure you that we've been a part of these conversations, we've been in prayer. There's amazing communication between us and I'm excited for that. I yes. love that we can show a healthy transition. But also I can assure you that there's also a transition team and there's people looking at, okay, with this kind of transition, no doubt about it, there are things that need to be figured out. There are, if you will, holes and gaps and such. But every single one of those, the Holy Spirit's not surprised on. We may be a little surprised on them, but the Holy Spirit's not. And we are not ignorant of some of those holes and some of those gaps. And we're looking at all of them. And I love Pastor Marion's um, steadfastness to say, I don't want to just put something there. I don't want to just jump to conclusions. I wanna make sure that we've felt the heart of God for what he's doing, that we get the right fit for Prescott campus because we believe God's doing revival up in that territory. And that God God's gonna do incredible things. And so we want the right fit for that. That's right. We want and the right fit for all the campuses and such. Right. And so that's important, I think. It is, it's important in every location. In Anthem location, you're having a lot of shifts here. You're having a lot of change. You're used to having Pastor Scott and Lydia on a more regular basis. Your, um, your, your worship, that you're losing the sound of the song that you're used to. Uh, so these things are shifting and changing, but we've trained up and raised up leaders, and I'm confident that God has the right uh, setup for all of us and all of this. And while in this video, we're not making any big announcement about who or what or where, even in the Gilbert campus, the, the obvious things are obvious there, but we'll be making those announcements forthcoming. So, uh, but, but what we're asking for you to do is stay with us, trust us, and and know that it, there's no um, there's no like one decision being made by one person. There's a collaboration uh, of of mindset here. We have past first of all, as Pastor Scott said, we have each other, and we have the executive team. We've been working together with Pastor Stevie, Pastor Scott, Pastor Lydia, myself, uh, our council, our financial council, been involved in the decisions, and a transition team has come together, as well as the existing leadership team has all been involved in making the decisions, processing what has to be done. So uh, it is a great, great, great day at Grace North. And an, as I said, it's an opportunity. 
amazing opportunity. So we're not gonna answer probably every question you have. If you have specific questions, you are welcome. Where can they go if they have questions? Well, why don't we do this? Why don't you just have you email welcome at gracenorth.com. That's something easy for you to remember. Welcome at gracenorth.com if you have any questions at all. And somebody, one of our team members or myself, will get back to you and answer the questions for you. We also ask that if you have these questions, don't go just talking to everybody and anybody just and saying, what about this? Because that could be confusing and maybe misleading. Come to us. We're an open book. We're, there's nothing. We're, we are seeking the heart of God for what his best is for this church. And I can tell you as the pastor who has been this pastor for a season here, I can tell you with full confidence that I believe that you are coming into a greater season of greater ministry and Pastor Marion is gonna take you to a new level and that there also are gonna be leaders who are gonna step up and rise up mm. who are gonna do incredible things, including yes. you, That's including right. others who may come in from the outside. And so you are in good hands and I want you to hear from me. I feel confident in this church that I've poured into and love that you are ready to go to new levels. And so be confident, be, feel safe. Feel, feel that you can, you can dive in right now. So now's not the time to feel a little unstable, even though it may feel the shaking for you. I'm telling you that right now is a time to feel like, all right, let's dive in because God's on the move. That's right. And I think one of the things you said that's so important, Scott, is that uh, our attitude, our posture, uh, our words, our, our conversations, let's keep them holy, let's keep them healthy. And let's, you know, a healthy transition doesn't, isn't just something that we have to engage in, it's something we collectively engage in, a healthy conversation and a healthy transition. And we can do this together. We have uh, amazing people in this church in our Prescott campus, our Gilbert campus, our Anthem campus, all of you, you're amazing people, and we're so proud of you, and we're super excited to see what God is going to do in and through each and every one of you. Amen. We love you. We believe in you. I know you're in good hands. It's been amazing to see even the process of Foursquare appointing you. If you don't know the process, it was not just a set thing because we may have desired this. This was a prayerful process. It was a process that included evaluation and interview and such. And there was a, a joint unity with Foursquare, which is our movement and our covering with our leadership, with myself, with Pastor Marion, there was a joint agreement that the hand of the Lord was upon Pastor Marion. And so when the hand of the Lord is upon somebody, you know that you're in good hands. And so we're trusting what God is doing. And we believe in you. We love you. And we're all in on this. Amen. And so you see this unity. We're with you. We're with each other. And God's doing some amazing things. Amen. Now, as, I, as we wrap this video up, I wanna give you a couple of important things. I wanna invite you to do everything you can to come out on June the 4th to celebrate Pastor Scott and Lydia and their children. Uh, they have served this church since 2003 and they've served it with all their heart. Let's come on out and celebrate with them. And on June 25th, uh, same, time period, 6 p.m. for both of these events. On June 25th here in the Anthem campus, we're gonna celebrate Pastors John and Stevie. And again, they've been with us since 2003. Six people joined in my front room and we started this church with just the six people there. And I tell you what, God is doing amazing things. Let's honor, let's bless, let's encourage them as they walk out the door. And finally, I wanna to say to you, one of the most important things we can do this summer is to go to family camp. Because I tell you what, at family camp this year, God is going to move in and through us. And while it is not about their exiting or my entrance as leader, it's about us as a church family. Family camp is probably more important this year than it's ever been before. So we wanna make sure that you do everything you can to align yourself and come to family camp so that we can go to the mountain of the Lord together, amen? God bless you, and it is a privilege and an honor to serve you. Pastor Joe and I are thrilled about it. We are, of course, sad to see our son and his family go, our beloved Pastor Stevie and John leave us, but we know God is in this, and we trust him in every way. Love you all.